In what's being labelled a win for people power, the ACT government has today been forced to backpedal on radical cuts to school bus services. The upcoming overhaul of Canberra's transport network sparked the largest ever outpouring of fury our city has seen. Now the minister believes she's got the plans right. New maps and a change of direction in bus travel. These detailed charts plot out the revised overhaul to the public bus network, the product of more than 18,000 pieces of feedback from the travelling public. It's been a, a learning process. We've really listened to the Canberra community. We're really pleased with the changes that we have made. The new network was first announced four months ago and was largely met with anger and concern. Now there's been another 37 changes, including the expansion of rapid and suburban bus services and extra stops. Where we've gone from very long local loops that take a great deal of time for people to get from their suburb to the town centre to more short local loops integrated into a rapid network. Complaints mostly came from parents and schools over huge reductions in dedicated school buses. Now they're welcoming a partial backflip. I think the devil's in the detail. The original plan had 144 standalone school services, now bumped up by 78. Up to 50 schools, or about half, will have none. Parents are worried about the dangers of their kids travelling with strangers, but for now at least, PNC groups are compromising. I think it is a win for people power because, you know, they've actually listened to, you know, to, to logic. The ACT's peak transport lobby group says the reduction in student only options is sensible. By restoring 100 services to schools, dedicated school services, we do lose the frequency in the local and rapid bus network. The new bus network will start early next year with the first month of travel free. We're really looking to get people using more buses and more public transport in Canberra. Michael Hammond, Wind News.